Automation can save you a bunch of time and really help you get more done at your business. Imagine being able to generate quotes for your clients automatically. So you can focus more on the service you provide rather than spending time preparing estimates every day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create a quote generator for your business so you can save time and also make more money. Hi, I'm Caio Calderari from AutomationHelpers.com. We help companies like yours get automated and grow by using industry leading tools to build portals, apps and integrations. Subscribe to the channel if you want to leverage tech to help your business grow. This is the final quote the customer will receive and it's fully customizable. You can choose the layout, you can customize anything here. But the cool part is that it was automatically generated by this tool we are going to build together. Now, how can we actually build this? It's very simple. First step is to create a new form here. We can start from a template or from scratch. In this case here, I'm going to search for this exact template that I'm using. If you want to use it as well, look for cleaning here and it will be this one. I'm going to click here, select this one and use this template. Now, here we can fully customize all the fields, add extra fields if we want to. We have all the pages here. As we can see, the one I've built is a little bit different because I've made some changes. So you can go ahead and change all the fields you want to. And once you're ready, we have to go to this integrate section. Here we are going to use the generate PDF feature. This is very cool because once we upload our PDF file here, we can configure it to map the information that we are collecting on the form on the PDF file and then show dynamic information on the quote itself. For the quote PDF file, I've created this simple example template here using Figma, but you can use any design tool to do that or hire a designer. You can also go to Canva or any other design software really that can allow you to create a PDF file that looks somehow like this. Okay, so this is the file we are going to use. We are going to upload this file here. Just click browse, select the file on your computer and it will be visible here. Once we have the file here, we have to add the fields to the areas we want to configure. And once we are happy with the positioning here, we are going to map the fields with the information we are collecting from the form. So as an example for the services, we are going to map this field with the value we are collecting from our form. Since we want to display this as a text, we are going to check this option and readjust the position. If you need help, you can leverage AI to help you map the fields. And once you're done, just click save or click the preview button to visualize how it's looking like so far. Enjoying this video so far? If so, click the like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Once you finish setting up all the fields you want to show on your specific quote file, this is going to look something like this. You will have all the fields coming from your form showing up on specific areas on your file. Now, if you want to show the total price of the service you're providing, we can use an advanced field called calculations. So the way we use it is by going through here and clicking on this calculations icon. It will create a new calculations field and add this to your quote file. Now, if you close here and go back to your edit mode here at the bottom under logic, you will see the calculations tab. And here on the calculations tab, you can find all the conditional logic that will power your estimate. So for instance, I can create a new rule and based on what a person is selecting on the form, I can define how much the price will be. So here I can select any field from our form, for instance, the number of bedrooms, and then say when it's greater than two, meaning they have a larger house, I will add $100 to the total price. And this way you can build a lot of rules here. And as the person who is replying in the form, all these values will be added to the calculation price. If you wish to, you can set up an initial value or it can start as zero. And once you're done, just click here and go back to the integrations tab. Here, you're going to see your document file and just make sure this option here 
is selected. This way, the total value will be displayed. If you need to, you can also add some fields that will only show text. How can you do that? You just add a new field and here you can find this option, enter static text. This way you can show fixed information that is always going to look the same. It's not going to pull from the information that a person is providing on the form. So we will have a couple dynamic fields and a couple other calculation fields. And this way you can visually build a quote calculator, which is really nice and is going to save you a bunch of time at your business. Hey, my friend, if you need help building a project, we are here to assist. Visit our website at automationhelpers.com. We are offering free 30-minute consultation calls with our experts. Visit the link down below and make sure to book your call today. Now, if you want to take this even further, we can send this information to our CRM. Let's say you are using Airtable as your CRM, controlling all the leads coming in, all the quotes and estimates you are generating with this new system. You can do that. We can add Airtable to our integration here. And at the end of the process, this automation will not only send an email to your customer with the quote, but it will also send information to your CRM, which can save you even more time and help you control your business in a better and more efficient way. We can also leverage other more powerful automation tools like Make and Zapier to build even more complex types of automations if we want to. As an example, if we choose to use the workflows here, we can create a lot of different workflows that can automate more processes for us. We can even leverage AI to help us automate parts of this process, which can be super helpful. Now let's take a look at how you would create a workflow. We can click here, select a trigger. Once the form is submitted, we can use a webhook to send information from fillout to your Airtable CRM. Now, of course, we could use this option here, which is using the PDF generator feature inside Fillout. But what if we want to use other types of files that maybe we already have, or maybe you already have at your business? Maybe you have a presentation or a Google Docs document on your Google Drive account. How could you use Fillout for the first part, just for the form, but use your pre-existing files and templates to populate the information you're collecting on the form and actually generate a quote using other files you may already have. Well, watch this other video here from Alex where he explains how you can leverage Zapier to actually use some template files you might have on your Google Drive account. And then you can connect both ideas and learn from these two videos, this video and his video, and create another type of automation that can leverage your existing Google Drive files. Another nice thing we could do if we want to display the pricing information for our clients, even before they finish this process, we can do that. Here inside Fillout, I can type in price, at and get any of the values from our form. In this case here, I want to get the calculations value. And then I can do the same for the other pages where I want to show this price. So now when they are filling out the form, once they select some service, they will see the price. And as they go through this process, filling out the form, the price will update accordingly. And this will always change based on the service calculation you configured on your fill-out form. How cool is that? This is interactive and it will save you a bunch of time answering basic questions at your business. I hope this tutorial was really helpful for you and I hope it will help you save time and make more money at your business. Let me know in the comment section down below how are you considering automating your business. Now, if you want to continue learning, we have a lot more content for you here on the channel. So make sure to keep watching more videos we've prepared just for you. Thanks for watching. I catch you on the next one. Let's automate your business.